expert how to define a woman. As Britain's gender wars intensifies, Piers Morgan grilled the PM on trans athletes and women's safety in prison. But he started by asking the one question that all politicians now dread. That you're the British Prime Minister. What is a woman? Yeah, I, of course I know what a woman is, adult human females. When you see what's happening in sport, where you see trans yeah. women athletes demolishing women yeah. female athletes, what do you feel about that? Yeah, well, I think that doesn't strike most people as being fair, right? So, and, and so that's why when it comes to these questions, biological sex matters. Now that you know, we can and will have compassion and tolerance and understanding for everybody who is thinking about transitioning and changing their identity and gender. But you know, for me, when it comes to whether it's sex, whether it's women's mm. spaces, whether it's prisons, biological sex really matters. I'm glad you've said what a woman is, because a lot of people will be thinking, why can't we say what a woman is? I know. I, I mean, yes. <laughs> and look, I, I'm, I'm married to one. I have two daughters. And and it, it's really important that they grow up in a society where, where their needs are, are respected, whether it's, you know, how they want to be treated when they're in changing rooms or sports, but also their safety. It's a little bit... It, it's kind of a, a slight... It's a bit partridgey and it's a bit <laughs> pound shot blairy as well. Yeah. He'd, he'd rehearsed that question within an inch of his life because yeah. he came out with... It. Well, I know what it is. It's an adult yeah. uh, human female. <laughs> yeah. And obviously they'd sat there in a meeting somewhere. They, they'd kind of thrash this yeah. one out. Do I use that phrase? Do I use this phrase? And they settled for the one that you anyone, know, most anyone people Anyone would think he, he wasn't the Rishi Sunak that a year ago refused to answer the question and would yeah. not answer mm. it. Yeah. And so hid behind Boris's He's worked skirts. out that it's now politically expedient to say adult female human. Uh, but uh, the Tory party will carry on being woke about this. The thing is, uh, I, I don't think this is as big... And it pains me to say this. I don't think this is as big of an issue as people... Well, it, as oh. big of an electoral uh, kind of yeah. issue as people think, right? It's not the migrant boat. Exactly. Yeah. And also, I think... Th I don't think this is going to do Labour as much harm or damage as they think it will, mm. just because there's so many other big problems. I mean, you know, 2024 is not going to be based on whether... which which. A candidate can define what a woman is, and I think they need to recognise that. And I also think there's a, there's there's a, a section of the public that are, are aware that there are certain issues that are being conflated. Yes, women's um, sort of security is an issue, and the, the trans prisoner is also an issue. But in, in the grand scheme of things, there are about ten trans people in the UK. Like most people think, you know, they can see when it's being conflated. As because the thing is, outside of these outrageous stories, how often do you hear of these issues? Even with people that just, know trans yeah. people, how but, often do you but, hear but of but these Esther, things? Is, isn't it like it, it, you're right? I mean, it's it's. It, and, and not many years ago, this wasn't even a discussion. Exactly. I'd done phone in radio for 20 years, never ever came up once, I don't think. It's some, it's the whole sort of gender spectrum thing, mm. I think, that's sort of enamored this now. But it, it's kind of symbolic stroke totemic of a wider issue, isn't it? It's about where you stand on common sense. Well, I yeah. think that's the, the really but what. It's not an existential. Because you're right, issue. specifically, it might not be the issue. Yeah. But it's because, part of a range of issues. Because we have it? a media that's so intent on conflating all of these issues and bundling them into the yeah, woke exactly. agenda. But there is a woke agenda there, isn't there? There is. It's a, the cancel they're culture, all... which are the left say, that doesn't exist. Well, Newsflash, all... it absolutely does exist. Like idiots but... like Nicholas Sturgeon putting male rapists into female prisons. Well, and that also tends to bring the, the issue into yeah. sharp focus. Okay, By the way, so... we're going to hear a lot about Come this on, Thorpe, running up to 24. You're going to let the woman speak? Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if you must. Okay. Is that how you identify? Go yes, on, then. Okay. Okay. All right. This is Rishi Sunak, who leads the very same government who rejected recommendations that women's uh, menopause should be a protected characteristic on the basis that, are you ready? it would be discriminatory against men. If he cares about women, if he cares about women's issues, menopause affects far many more people in the UK than gender identity. Why hasn't he done that? I think well, it's, I think, I think, I think, I think the I think that the reason because, uh, for that is that, that it will be a legal minefield for for employers yeah. because then you have all these sort no of retro, 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 leave. retrospective. No, because it, it is quite complicated actually. On a practical level, you you could have retrospective lawsuits. You know, employers might just say actually we just won't hire women, which would go against women's exactly progress the same as, as well. maternity leave. No, but it's it's not the same thing. I think I think that those are two, conflating two different issues. I think the bigger issue is I think for the vast majority of the British public that have even run into a trans person, which is very few anyway, they can see the difference between some extraordinary issues like the trans prisoner stuff being conflated with all the other issues, which I agree. You know, I, I do, I don't, I'm kind of leaning away from the word woke just because I feel like it's become a bit lazy. Yeah. What exactly are you talking about? You can't conflate every issue and just Everything bundle up as woke. Well, and, exactly. Can we just take a step back here? Because the trans issue affects about 0.3% of the population yes, in this country. Yes, all ten of them, So yes. it's tiny. <laughs> 
But actually, for, for people at home who can't afford to put their heating on or can't afford to eat or can't afford to put petrol in their car, this is not an issue. Yeah. So exactly. what they want yeah. the, the government to do and the opposition and all political parties is to get on with the job in hand. And actually, I think some of these are very tangential. Yeah. And actually, I don't think yeah, that, well, that people at home... It's going to be an issue because the Tories will make it an issue. Yeah. Running up to 24, well, that's pathetic, they will isn't constantly it? ask Sakia mm. Starmer, define a woman, mm. define a woman. And if he can't, it will be elected. But if that's all they've got well, in exactly. the Exactly, then, then they're doomed. Because yeah, exactly. I do think, to go back to what I said before, I think it's actually symbolic of a wider issue. Just about, forget the word woke, I agree it's a bit of a lousy word, it's kind of been reverse engineered and makes you sound yeah. a bit daft if you use it now. However, I do think there's a common sense agenda. And that's what the Tories are tr going to try and sell over Starbucks. So, so I do wonder whether we've reached the peak of woke. I, d I just get the sense that the public have had enough of this. Yeah. And actually, we're moving past yeah, yeah. that again and going back to basics and actually looking and at common sense policies. And the Tories need to, need to get clued up and well, realise that the public is moving on and well, they need well, to keep I up. Well, I agree. And actually, you can see that in the polling, and I would say this, wouldn't I, that people are moving to other parties who have actually got pragmatic solutions yeah, exactly. to yeah. the problems that everyone faces. And who won't put male rapists into female Exactly prisons. right. The more they do that, we will have to talk about this issue. All right.